Hello everyone, Modeling Weekly here, and today I'll finally be completing the build of the B-17G Flying Fortress from Airfix, so hope you enjoy the video, and let's go! First thing to do was to put together this very ball turret that goes on the bottom of the plane, which I use clear fix to glue the clear parts together with. of what the end turret looks like. After completing the turret it was time to glue the fuselage halves together. This particular part was quite fiddly to put on as the uh, wing was quite thin and kept bending while I was pushing on it. Before painting the engine components silver I gave it a base colour of black. silver colour I first tried using Tamiya silver but this was way too thick to go through my airbrush so I found a better vehicle version. I use white spirit to get rid of excess wash, but you can use any enamel thinners. With all the engine components put together, it was time to put the wing halves together.
painting tyres, I prefer using a grey-black colour as it gives a more realistic effect. Again, here I'm using clear fix to glue clear parts together. spray primer as I find it has a finer finish than the Humbrol variant. some panels on the wings with a white colour.
know you can't see this too well, but you're going to have to trust me that this really is a gloss coat. that some of the insignia on this model is wrong. Uh, this is because I went through about five sets of letters trying to get them to uh, not fold up and uh, fold over themselves. has been dubbed Skyway Chariot. This aircraft has evidently been doing a lot of bombing. absolutely tiny decals preceded these ones but I decided not to record them as on camera they hardly showed up. For the first time ever I tried using my airbrush for weathering and it went quite well.
Hansing gear was of the easier variety to install. four props attached that was the finished model I, I think it turned out great what do you think i really hope you've enjoyed this build series and i'll see you again next time bye